Who do you think had the first debut tweet in Crisis? Who do I think? Oh no, it was Zally for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure his tweet went out first. Oh, best? Oh, did I read that wrong? No, oh, that's it first. Oh, the first? No, it did say first. Oh, oh, you're correcting yourself. Oh, fuck. I thought you were correcting me. I was like, wait, what, what, that's what it said. The best? I don't know. That's hard to say. What was Wilson's first tweet again? Shit. I don't know if you can say who had the best tweet. Our tweets were all so different. I don't, I don't, I don't know if, like, like, I don't know if they, I don't know if they're comparable. You know? You know what I mean? I think it really depends on perspective. Like, I thought of so many. I thought of so fucking many. I was, uh, I just was like, what do I do? What do I do? I had so many options. But then, like, when it actually came to the day and our Twitters were up, time was passing and I was like, I don't think I like any of these anymore. I was like, I don't like any of my tweets. I don't like them. I don't know what to tweet. I have no idea what to tweet. And then they were just like, tweet how you're feeling. And it was just like, okay. And that's it. I just like rethought everything. Yeah, like, I think, I think Wilson's was like creative using his name. Like, it makes sense, you know? And I love, I loved the interactions that it created. Like, I thought that was funny. Whereas, like, mine was good for a different reason, you know? Everybody's inspired different things. Although, I find it kind of funny that Zally's first tweet made him out to be sort of, like, probably the most unsay-so of the three of us. I think from viewing, people didn't think Zally would be, like, the most unsay-so. And then his first tweet completely threw everyone for a loop. They were just like, oh, so he's the unsay-so one. And then you see us streaming and it's like, oh, He's not the most sensei so one. And it was just and it, like, it, he, he just completely threw everybody for a loop. He's very quietly unsay so. I feel like Zali's become a lot more comfortable in recent times. And it's made me really happy to see him like break out. It's really cool to like get to know him more and like, you know, him becoming more, more expressive. I also just love how much <laughs> my fucking over the top way of talking has influenced both Wilson and Zally, and it's <laughs> it is the best fucking shit ever oh my gosh the one I think about often is one that I heard about uh not too long ago I think somebody asked him on stream like do you like seeing two people fighting like do you like two people fighting and then I think he like brought up me and Wilson and he was just like oh yeah I love seeing two people fighting I eat that shit up and it was just like <laughs> shit bro Oh my gosh, he was just like, bro, Zally. I didn't teach him that, but I mean, you know, it's it's just, it's just when you hang out with someone a lot, you you tend you tend to pick up things. I started saying c'est pas fou. I started saying fuck and all these like French phrases because of Wilson and Zally, and they picked up so much like slang because of me. And I'm just like, oh god, oh my god. I just love it. Wilson definitely fell for your I. <laughs> I I do what I, I do what I can and I can what I do. It's fucking great, bro. I think the one that gets me the worst is like Crazy Dio. Because, you know, you have actual Japanese speakers that will hear me and then they'll say it and I just get embarrassed because I'm just like, I'm so sorry. I'm just like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I did not mean for this to be like this. Oh my gosh, dude. Like, I think the worst is when <laughs> Manesan was like, like, I was just like, wow, like they were telling me about something. I was like, wow, that's crazy. And they were just like, yeah, crazy Dio. And I was like, no, please, but it's I'm gonna die. Please. It's terrible. It's actually awful. My Kokoro is Brokoro. I didn't even think about that one. I did, I, I say it so rarely. I, I don't even coin it as my phrase. I feel like a lot of my Manasan interactions are, are, very, are very like embarrassing. And the one that I, I don't think I'll ever be able to forget is when they, when they sent me when they sent me the video of my one of my Animal Crossing clips getting translated into uh, Japanese, and like they were just like all the comments were like, "Oh my gosh, he's got a gap moe. He's a baby girl," and they were just like, "No, even the Japanese know that you're a baby girl." And I'm just like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna quit." <laughs> I was, I was just like, "I'm quitting. I'm signing. Can I, can I unsign the contract?" I was like, it's "Like I'm done." I was like, "Let me get up. Let me leave." I was like, "I'm done. I gotta go. I gotta go." Oh my gosh. Just like, he's a baby girl. He's a baby girl. I was just like, okay. All right. It's, it's definitely great though. I will never, I will never escape the baby girl allegations ever. Vox even said he knew you had a gap moe. I remember that clip. That was an early on clip. Uh, it was kind of cool hearing the compliment on uh, my lore video too. I was like, oh, that's, that's sick. That, that clip just like made me think about how well received the lore video was. I was so happy, dude. I was so happy because I was stressed about it. I was really worried about it. Huh, but you know, we ball, we ball. Sharkuchi, Sharkuchi.